I know that the Congress is looking to try to adjourn by the end of the week, so this is a bill that's on a rather on a fast track. It's called the uh, Tax Extender Bill. Um, and we're watching it very closely to see if it comes out of the Senate uh, either today or tomorrow morning. If that happens, uh, the strategy that Tom and I have discussed is that we will do a very quick letter to our Congressman uh, uh, Mike Thompson asking for his support. Uh, this is something that uh, RC, RC uh, in talking with their federal legislative coordinators felt is, uh, is very important. So just so the, the board knows, the next 24 hours we're going to be watching this very closely. Previously, the board has been very supportive of issues having to do with um, uh, S, uh, the SRS and, and PELT uh, funding. So just wanted to inform you of that. That's something that we're taking, uh, watching very closely right now. Okay, I believe there's a question. Um, Supervisor Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, this is an issue that we've followed uh, and, and been involved with for a number of years, the importance um, to Mendocino County is, is clearly delineated. There are also some other counties, uh, and I know Supervisor Wattenberg has co commented on this in the past, that it's very, very critical to some of the very rural northern um, counties to receive those funding sources as well as, as uh, whole regions of Oregon. So my suggestion would be is, is I believe that in the past anyway, uh, Congressman Thompson has been fully on board with this concept and has been supportive. But I would think it might be good if we sent a letter to, the, to our entire California delegation to talking about the importance to the state of California for this funding. So those that might be in urban areas and otherwise um, uninformed about the importance to rural economies and the state, that they would be receiving our letter as well. Because I think, I think it's rather... Um, uh, hopefully uh, assume that Congressman Thompson would support it. He certainly has in the past. But I, I would think we could fax a letter to the entire California delegation to uh, apprise them and weigh in. Well, I certainly would not be opposed to that, uh, Supervisor. Pence. I would concur. You know, this is as important as the issue is here in Mendocino County. If this funding doesn't come through to our neighbors to the North Trinity County, it will probably put them as a county out of business. And, and uh, if I can comment on that, um, I have spoken on this item uh, numerous times. Uh, there are entire counties in Oregon that will cease uh, business if this does not pass. Uh, Trinity County within our own state will be one that will probably uh, wind up filing bankruptcy. And uh, um, in our county alone, it's uh, equal to about $300,000 into the DOT budget and also an equal amount of $300,000 into our school system. Uh, both Potter Valley and Covalo school districts would be tremendously impacted. And uh, so uh, I would encourage any effort to take this um, to the next level to secure the funding and make sure that it's... Uh, it's uh, well addressed. I would wholeheartedly applaud. I think it's an excellent idea, and we'll do our best. If if we were watching this very closely, if it passes out of the Senate, to getting uh, letters to the entire um, uh, California delegation of the members of Congress and the House of Representatives. That's okay, a lot of letters, but we'll we'll get them. You know, we'll get them. We'll get it out. And but right now, the important thing is we're watching it. We know that our senators are both in favor of this. We've received uh, at least. Uh, uh, we've sent letters to our Senate delegation in the past, and at least Senator Boxer has written us back, uh, wrote us back in April saying she's on board. Uh, so, and in term, terms of talking with RCRC, there was no, there was no concern amongst uh, uh, our, the California senators on how they were going to vote. So we just have to watch this and see how it gets out of uh, the U.S. Senate in the next uh, 48 hours. Okay. Thank you very much. That's all I have to report unless there's any other questions. Supervisor. Through the chair, um, just to note, that would be an excellent way that the executive office could set up a fax distribution list for the California delegation, have a list of, of, of the delegation, and have that ready to go for future, future uh, communications if we would desire to do that. So, you know, it would take a little time to set it up, but once it was set up, it could be an automatic distribution list via the fax. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Um, and, and that is a consensus of the board for such a letter to be crafted and sent on. Is that correct? 
and, and I, I see. Due, to, due to the speed, it would be we, I'd be looking to have you know Tom be signing that on behalf of the of the board, uh, just because it's it sometimes it. Uh, the chairman is busy and unavailable for, for things, so we'll be sending that out under Tom's signature. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much, and that is consensus of the board. Okay, um, to the CEO, your report. Just a couple of brief items for your information here. Uh, one, we wanted to let you know that uh, as of yesterday, we've... Um, completed another um, hiring in our office of the deputy CEO that's going to be concentrating on technology issues. The gentleman's name is Justin Fang. Justin Fan, excuse me, it's pronounced Fan. Uh, he comes to us with 17 years of experience in the field of information services, graduated from uh, Cal Polytechnic in Pomona, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and has worked in a variety of high-tech firms including Use Aircraft, Logicon, and EDS. Formerly worked for Toshiba American Information Systems over the past nine years as a Senior Application Specialist and Project Manager in charge of quality assurance as well as web, web development. And so we're all looking forward to Justin joining our team uh, Justin will be working on a number of assignments. Uh, we do have a, a list of initiatives.